99% of people are going to make this mistake when scavenging for resources after a disaster strikes. Once all the easy picking has been exhausted, that's when people will start going for the high-hanging fruit. That's when people start going off the beaten path and getting more clever in their designs. So the furthest back up the supply chain is going to be the actual crops coming up out of the ground. Then you have the train cars that the grain is going to be loaded onto. Then that is going to go to a facility like Cargill, where they're going to process that grain into flour. Then that flour will be bagged and taken to consolidated food places like distribution centers. Then from there, it will be distributed to grocery stores, retail outlets, and anywhere else that might sell those types of products. Just do your best to keep in mind that the further up the supply chain you go, the less competition there's going to be from the start until people start to get wise. Now, don't forget to share and follow because the more you'll know. APL.